the biggest challenge is that you have a huge network all across the world of white rabbits. They're not on a consistent message. We've got one. We've got to start putting it out there. If you want to be a political superstar, you have to have superstar talking points. It's okay to have whatever group or ideal you want, but you've got to use that first. Yeah, I mean, if you're just saying, uh, pushing out statistics on black crime from Amrim, that's fine. If you're pushing that out with a mantra, with our stuff, you're advertising that you play baseball. Baseball is simply practical politics. That's where it starts. Articulating a message, getting on a message, staying focused on message and his talking point. Truck Roy has a talk show. He's, he's basically melding in a consistent message. Now, he's putting his own spin on it. He's making it his own. He's making the talking points his own to some extent. He'll probably make the mantra his own to some extent. James Edward runs a political cesspool, and he's a commentator. He's on a mantra-style consistent message. Does that mean he goes over it every day on the show? No. Does that mean he works it in when he can? Yes. His show is always about pointing out double standards. It doesn't matter whether it's the Jews. He's going to name it. It doesn't matter whether it's liberals or even conservatives. But he's going to come back to a consistent message. He's going to be on a mantra-style message. And if you listen to White Rabbit Genocide, that's my version of the mantra, you can make any of this your own. You can stick to the basics. In your opinion, I'm racist. You're just saying it because I'm white. Anti-racism is a word for anti-white. Until you're getting this out there, until, until we're getting this out there, we can't, we can't really do anything. You will second-guess this technology until you see it work. You might second-guess, oh, well, yes, we can, but a lot of stupid right, white rabbits voted for him, didn't they? Don't, don't second-guess what we're doing. Know what we're doing. Basically, one of the ways uh, a consistent message is important is it crystallizes a network. This is the definition of crystallization. To make or become definitive or clear. You've you got, you got to put everything together. The network immediately comes together. The idealism is always going to be separate, but all the idealism goes to the second page. Common sense goes first. The consistent message, the talking points based on common sense goes first. That's where it all begins. But all you need to know is you have a common sense, the mantra. The technology behind how it works and why it works is just sound, saying it over and over again, um, uh, the different talking points and whatnot. It, it's just a matter of repetition. So what I want you to do is I want you to use the mantra in any way you see fit. You can make it your own. Just copy and paste it and use it. Use the talking points. You can make them your own. We've noticed there's been questions about genocide. How is this genocide? The definition of genocide is quite simple. The definition we're, we're using is Article 2 of the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. And it defines genocide as any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnic, or racial genotype or religious group as such. Killing the members of a group, that's A. B, causing serious bodily or mentally harm to members of the group. C, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. It's a very, very important one. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. D, imposing measures and intended to prevent births within the group. E, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. What you need to understand is that that's some pretty broad stuff, isn't it? You get called into a tr tribunal for genocide, you're over with. You're done. They're going to hang you. Most people think um, uh, genocide is something, you know, you've got to starve 30 million Ukrainians. No. An attempt at genocide can basically put you in a tribunal. Now, where can you find out any information about an attempt at genocide? If you want to do your homework, there's a whole industry created off these quotes. The Jewish groups um, running Anglosphere, who, who did a lot of the social engineering programs, their quotes are endless direct quotes from Hebrew leadership about creating a blended humanity in only European countries and so on and so forth. Before your average rabbi can say something ridiculous and end up in a Kevin McDonald book, or before Chad in Iowa can call for the death of his race, someone has to articulate that at a very high level. You can't go there under an international law, because heaven forbid you don't get your new world order in the in the 80s or something, and it goes all the way and the whole th it goes all the way into 2000 something, and the whole thing crashes on you. You're going to hang. You can't fund that. You can't you can't have anything to do with that. I don't think most of them have any idea what trouble they're in. Jane Elliott will never realize with her blue eye, uh, blue eye, brown eye thing, how much danger she's in and the right conditions. So those right conditions are coming right now. She's in danger of a rope. 
your site at the top has lists, believe it or not. Uh, my information is there's one list that goes well over 30,000 names, another list well over 50,000. But if you understand what I just told you about genocide, if you understand the parties involved and how they have no mercy once they get you down, I mean, you saw what happened to Saddam Hussein. They're not going to have any mercy. Uh, and that's not necessarily our side, but I'm giving you an example. There's no mercy in the tribunal. There's no voting. And now you understand why fear is in there. That's why I want you using genocide all the time. You know, I've given you many ways to go about it, but it's very important that you understand that there's been an attempt at genocide against you. Did it work? No. But if that doesn't matter. You know, if you attempt to wipe someone out and get caught, it doesn't matter if you didn't succeed. That's not the law. So There are no social constructs under international law. Saddam Hussein will not say, oh, the Kurds were a social construct. You can't go there. Because what happens if you went there and... 40 years ago, someone on tape at a high-level meeting, like a Bilderberger meeting or something, said, we're going to wipe your race off the planet, and we're going to do it through immigration, so on, so forth, and et cetera, and we're going to use our networks and our power. Next thing you know, you've got all these countries, white countries and only white countries, everyone's flooding in. They've been a change in immigration laws without voting. What type of power would it take uh, for China, Korea, and Japan to all sun tomorrow morning open its immigration up to non-East Asian and only non-East Asian? What well, takes a lot of power to do that without a vote? It takes a hell of a lot of power. So I want you to use your head and, and take our word for it. I'm not playing games here. When Bob Whitaker writes a mantra like that, it sends a message loud and clear. And once the tribunals come, the people running Anglosphere will have nowhere to go because they are broke. We play a simple game, me a white rabbit, you a white rabbit. This is for the indigenous white rabbits of Europe, wherever they may be. You can do anything you choose to do with it uh, as far as distribution. Um, share it with your friends. But if it's not there, put it there. It's no big deal. You can use all our stuff in any way you shape, manner, or form as long as it's for the benefit of putting, putting out a consistent message. That's what they're there for. Uh, one of the reasons why they ignore us, uh, they ignore Bob, is they want it to go away. They can't do anything because we understand baseball. We're playing by baseball rules. 